Uh, Bill, I guess this is a point where you smooth things out. I'm looking at a three months moving average of 147,000. I guess that that stabilizes the shock that we saw last month. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, the Fed statement uh, last month and the, the minutes suggested employment uncertainty. And as you smooth things out for three months at, uh, you know, close to 150,000, I think that does it. I mean, the unemployment rate went up to uh, to 4.9, did it not? The wages increased by a point one as opposed to a point two. And, and so, you know, I think um, things are not as hunky dory as uh, 280,000 might suggest, but, you know, back to a, a normalized 150,000. I, I think it's nothing to get, get excited about. It may not be something to get excited about, but does it get anyone interested in what Janet Yellen and company are going to do? Does this change the calculation of when they might move at all for you? No, I don't. I don't think so. Um, you know, they still have Brexit uh, to to look into the uh, eyes, the whites of the Brexit's eyes. I guess they have problems uh, with Italian banks, or the Fed doesn't, but the uh, the ECB and the EU do. Uh, the problems with the uh, UK property uh, mutual funds. Uh, you know, there's a, a, a sense of illiquidity in markets, and, and the Fed, of course, is, is very obsessed and concerned with markets uh, to the extent that uh, there's discord around the world. Um, I, you know, I, th I think the Fed stays where it is. They, they've wanted to raise interest rates. They did it once. I, th I think they want to uh, have us believe that uh, they'll raise several times and therefore have a pretty positive yield curve, which will help banks and insurance companies. But for the most part, I, I don't think this changes much.